This segment of Del Marvel Life is brought to you by Peninsula Home Care. Okay, so just before the break, we learned how a lack of sleep can actually lead to obesity. And as we learned earlier this week, it can also lead to other chronic health conditions. And for those who are already suffering from those conditions, an ideal treatment plan will allow them to live their best life no matter what led them to developing the condition in the first place. Now, there's new technology that can help. And as I recently found out, it not only helps them get better, it can allow them to get better at home. For Howard Harrison of Dagsboro, there is nothing on earth as important to him as his family, especially his 14 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Just having them around, you know, the grandkids and then the great-grandkids, and, you know, it just brightened my day up to see them. But a chronic condition threatens the time he has left to spend with his family. I had a chronic heart failure. And uh, what it is, is when your heart don't beat fast enough and the fluid builds up in your body and all. And uh, when I went into the hospital the first time, I was in there for 20 some days. I came back home and had another heart failure that I was in there for 30 some days. Harrison has no plans to go back to the hospital anytime soon. He's able to stay home as long as he's receiving his IV medication, something he's learned to maintain with a little help from his home health nurse and his family. His vital signs also need to be monitored. That's where telehealth comes in. Telehealth is a monitoring system that is set up in a patient's home to review your most vital signs, your oxygen levels, your weight, and your blood pressure and your pulse. And it is then monitored in a satellite somewhere. And with that satellite, the nurses can review on a daily basis in a spreadsheet graph kind of form what actually is happening to the patient. This is what we bring to the house. Everything a patient needs fits in this box. That includes a pulse oximeter, scale, blood pressure cuff, and a transmitter. Because of the threat of fluid buildup to Mr. Harrison's heart, he starts each morning by weighing himself. The first thing I do, I get up in the morning and after I go to the bathroom, I go and weigh myself. And uh, uh, that automatically goes into the telehealth. He also takes his pulse ox, a measurement of oxygen in his blood, and blood pressure. Those measurements are transmitted back to Peninsula Home Care's office in Seaford. And if something is wrong, they immediately call me and said, we got a warning light, uh, something is wrong, uh, I gained two pounds or uh, my blood pressure is too low. Nurses at the home office will use the information to figure out what could have happened. Sometimes it's as simple as a patient not taking his or her medication that day. If they didn't, then that's an easy remedy. If they did, then we're tracking and trending, calling the physician saying, mm, maybe we want to modify the medications and then going out and seeing that patient again. So far, the telehealth monitoring system has kept Howard out of the hospital and in his home, surrounded by family. My job uh, took me out of town 50% of the time. And, you know, they, they didn't have me a lot of time because I was out uh, with the federal government on task force and everything else. But they, they have come in and really had taken care of me, my grandkids. I got a granddaughter that is wonderful. It, it certainly keeps him out of the hospital. And he's been um, on the system now for seven weeks and no readmissions and doing very well. Something that's also a big part of the Affordable Health Care Initiative. The Health Care Initiative is looking to streamline and keep our resources within certain parameters. They want positive outcomes and they are dinging, for lack of better term, hospitals, physicians, home care agencies, if those outcomes are not positive. 
This is just one more tool to help us reach those positive outcomes. Howard Harrison is living proof. I feel 100% better. I feel that I'm going to go until the end and that God willing, I can do everything I want to do. And with the help of uh, Janet and the nurses, everything is fine in my family. And right now, Peninsula Home Care uses telehealth for patients with congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. They plan to add patients with diabetes in the future. And if you would like to learn more about telehealth and Peninsula Home Care, go to our website, delmarvalife.com, and click on the Show tab.